So Apollo Federation, it's a technology and an architecture. So it is a concept, but to break it down into a concept, right? If you have REST microservices and different teams working on these microservices, if you replace that REST with GraphQL, how does that work? So how can everyone have their slice of the data graph, but also there will be reusable parts of that that need to span across the teams. So how does that work? And it used to be that you would use a process called schema stitching to integrate all your separate microservice graphs together into the one big graph. That was a really manual process that you did on the server. So Apollo Federation is a way to do this without having to do that manual process. It has a declarative process that you use in the schema to say when you're extending a certain type. And there's a gateway that sits in front of your different microservices that will do the orchestration for you of picking what it needs from which graph. So all the small pieces of the graph come together into one endpoint that you can then query from any point in the graph. But it's nice because there's a separation of concerns. If one team is really only working on one slice of the graph, then they can do that without concern for having to build into a whole huge graph system. 